Hello, colleagues. Today we're going to compare point forecasts versus interval forecasts and take a look at when one might be better than the other. And we're going to use a simple example, which I'll show on my screen, which is that of an employee choosing which healthcare option to choose when they have a choice between two plans. And so there's, in this simplified case, a blue plan and a green plan. And the employee can enter a number of anticipated healthcare expenses and see what the out of pocket total will be under each of those plans. And I show this as an example, but in reality, we could do this with many, many, many types of business decisions, right? So blue and green might be two different factory configuration options we're considering building, distribution plans, possibly uh, price changes, modeling things like that. And, and you know, we've, we've got a tool built here and one can go in and change a value, uh, the input value, which is a point forecast and see that the results change as well. In this case, we say, Hmm, blue appears to be less expensive than green. So if I'm an employee and I want to minimize my expenses, that is, that is the choice I should make, I would choose blue. And if we look at a graph down below, we can sort of see what that looks like. And so here at $4,200 of expenses, the blue plan is indeed cheaper than the green plan. And point forecasts work really good when you have an accurate forecast. However, in reality, for most business applications, you don't really know exactly what something is gonna cost. Just like how much is my healthcare cost gonna be next year? You don't know this for pricing or volume or share or a number of other things. And so it's much more useful to look at a, an interval of inputs over a realistic range and anticipate what all the results might be. And that's sort of an interval forecast as I'll show in this graph here. And so we see the same two points as before, but now we're looking at results over the inter realistic intervals. And so I'm showing out of pocket costs for healthcare, but the same exact thing could be true for say a factory where at one end you're looking at 0% factory capacity utilization, at the other end, maybe 100% capacity utilization, and you're able to look at the costs for two different options. And what's really important here to my, to my mind is one, now we can see all the realistic permutations in that interval, and critically, the magnitude between the two results. And so here at this arbitrary point I've chosen, we've got a pretty big difference in magnitude, but that difference doesn't stay that way. Often it draws close to zero, and below or above a certain value, the blue plan actually costs more than the green plan in this particular case. So again, today, I just wanted to show you a critical concept that when I talk about modeling and point estimates and interval forecasts, this is what we mean and this is why it's important. So with that, everybody, let's excel today and I'll see you on the next video.